It's no good. The Steam sales have completely blown Green Man Gaming out of the water. Their fantastic deals can't help, they can't stand up to the might of the Steam summer sale. But I can still advertise it. Head down to the description below, please. Hello, audience! I dare hear. What is the largest thing ever launched by the Headhunter Space Program? It's this. It's gonna be this. Because this thing, it, 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 it's too big. It's almost hitting the build height limit, which is actually non-existent. I could keep building past this, but the camera only goes up so high. This is the uh, Munshot Retrofitted Eagle Heavy, but this one is being uh, nicknamed the Snowball because we're not going to the Mun with this one. We're going someplace different. So we actually need to launch from the desert launch site for this one because uh, we aren't going to the Mun. We're going to Minmus. Uh, just to really push the limits of what this thing is capable of. Like, really see how far we can get with it. Uh, I made some major modifications to the, um, to the base Eagle Heavy. Uh, so we're gonna see, uh, just how good these new upgrades hold out. I, uh, reconfigured the, um, the thingy here. I just need to see where these decouplers are. Okay, good. Okay, uh, so the crew has been selected. Let's go ahead and get this thing on a train and get it like, like basically halfway across the planet all the way to our new desert launch site. Why'd we assemble it here? Okay, rockets on the pad, and that's a lot of stuff. Wow. Um,. So, uh, we need to aim for Minmus, which is at a horrifyingly tilted angle. Set that as the target. We, uh, we need it at, a, like, a 45 degree angle, and right now, we are, like, pretty much polar opposite from where we need to be. So, go ahead and, uh, start the time accelerator. There it is, and stop. We're the the, the goal uh, is to basically just shoot us straight at this thing. Hopefully, I got the angle right, cause well, I mean, if we don't, we're just gonna revert and launch it again. Okay, let's get this underway. Oh, those engines never get old. Whew! Oh, she's struggling, but she'll get there. That, uh, that, uh, third stage, this is basically the third stage, the Rhino, uh, liquid fuel engine is probably gonna carry it, um, is probably gonna carry it to its destination. There's a lot of there's a lot more stuff mounted on top of this thing now. We're not gaining a hell of a lot of speed. She might need boosters, honestly. Like just to get it up to speed. As of right now, we're and actually. It, it, Maybe, maybe we can pull this off. Wait, which engine is that? Oh, that's the middle engine. Ow. Why is it all the way down here? I don't know. Hey, there's the mun. Should have gone to the mun. Better yet, we should have just slapped this thing on a mun lifter and said, and said yeah, do that. It's been this. We're basically gonna try and shoot them straight at this thing. We need to gain just a bit more speed before we separate the, the two side boosters, because I'd really rather not separate it at the current speed. 
800. Let's aim for like 800 or something. Past 800. We need a lot of speed, okay? There we go. 800. Go for 900 if you can. Something. I don't care. 900. Might actually hit just barely at 1,000. No, we couldn't hit 1,000. But she's doing pretty okay. She, we got we got plenty of speed. It's tremendous. She's a tremendous piece of machinery. We're gonna need RCS thrusters now because we're leaving Atmo. Very nice, very nice. Soon we will be out of Atmo and uh, like what's this? reaches here, we're out of that mode, we can basically relax for the rest of the flight, actually. I hope this is the right way. Alright, check this out. I just put these on. Bam! I said that we, I said we should have a way to get rid of the fins, and now we do. Very simple. Decouplers right on the side. The best part is, those will fall back to Kerbin. They're recoverable, kinda, I don't know. Let's pretend they're recoverable. <laughs> Let's pretend! <laughs> yeah, pretending! And the best part is, now there's no atmosphere to slow us down, so... I actually think that the two spart is weighing down the rocket, and... That's what's giving us this weird trajectory. We have to aim it, like, perfectly. This is a new rover, though, so... Actually, hang on. Okay, good, it's not draining fuel. Drain fuel from this thing! Don't we have one further down? No. Uh, just drain fuel from that thing, okay? Please, thank you. Eventually, it just gets to the point where it just shoots like crazy. It's like, yeah, all right, you hit the sweet spot. It's about halfway to the mud. But again, this is a heavier payload, so we don't know how far this thing is going to carry us. Normally, we can leave the Kerbin system. We're out past the mine. Okay, time for the next engine. And cut off! Cut off! It's X. Well, bad news is we're at the wrong angle. Good news is we know we can make it into orbit. We need the rhino in order to... We'll need the rhino in order to do the maneuvering vectors and whatnot, but... We know we can do it now. Let me just make sure that that's... That is actually miles away. Gotta do this. Also gotta turn those off. Like those things right there. They're messing up the whole dynamic. There we go. Now we got a bit of a dynamic going. Gotta do this. Gotta aim right. Gotta, gotta aim it like, gotta aim it like this. See if we can still hit it. All right, fire. Set his target. At our closest intercept. Shut it down. Yeah, we aimed wrong. Okay, reset.
All right, this time we got the, uh, the, the, the side that we're supposed to be on correct. And uh, another problem is I think we're also gonna hit the moon. We will soon find out, won't we? Anyway, first engine cut off. Tremendous, wonderful, fantastic. So far, we can control the rocket with, in Atmo via thrust, uh, thrust gimbals on the, the main engine. We're about to drop the, uh, the guide fins, which at this point in the flight aren't doing anything to help us. At this point, they'll be separated at the same time as, as uh, whatever shrouds we put on top of the Eagle Heavy. Because at that point, we don't need them. Just SAS control everything from that point. And that's good. And they're gone. We just mounted freaking shuttle tail fins onto the side of this. But let that sink in. Those are built for space shuttles. That's how powerful this bastard is. Like, Jesus Christ. It's huge. And actually... I have another terrible idea for it. Oh no. <laughs> All right, let's keep an eye on the... There he is, Minus. Keep it as our target. Hopefully we'll hit it. straight. It's a smaller target with a much lower sphere of gravity. We managed to hit it before, but I think that was pure blind luck. We're actually going at this from the worst angle possible, but I think can angle ourselves so that it's so that it's better. Like this. Gotta aim like that. I think. I don't know. We'll adjust it once we're out of fuel. Let's just get this en let's just get this engine. Okay. We burned through the main stage. Next stage! Burn through that too! <laughs> Cut off! Okay, cool. Set that as the target. Uh. Alright, so. If we're here, and that's the. We need to we need to be aiming like this direction. If we wanna get a decent intercept with it. Oh look, a convenient little th thing for where we're where we should be aiming. Well, let's aim at that. Is a, at least I think that's what we should be aiming at. All right, shut it down. Stop, stop, stop. You're good. You're fine. Stop. Burn the engine. Yeah, that's looking a, a lot better, actually. All right, now we just gotta like slow us down. Retrograde, please, thank you.
Okay. Now we need to burn it very carefully. Bring it in close. There we go. We have intercept finally with a tiny moon. Whee! Yay! Hey! 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 Now, I need to get rid of this thing on the top, so let me just decouple this and fit it into space. Woo! All right. Cool. Uh, we can now use the top docking node. <sighs> so now I guess we just gotta enjoy the ride. Getting hungry. Trail mix will fix this, uh, will curb those cravings. I think that's audible, actually. Like, audibly crunchy. Mm. Listen to this. Peppertas, soybeans, chickpeas, baba beans, almonds, sweetened cranberries, and... Edamame. Man, like... Why don't we have... Why don't we have trail mix more often? Good. Delicious and nutritious. You guys want trail mix? Oh, wait, we're not supposed to have trail mix in space. Because it gets everywhere. Later. Hey, we're almost there! And... I'm still listening to the same song. Because everyone knows that uh, the best thing to do with uh, a song that you like is to listen to it over and over and over again until it makes you physically sick to listen to it. Yeah! Unfortunately, we did run out of trail mix on the way here, so... Yeah, shit. You know when you eat all the popcorn before the movie even starts, like before you get through all of the previews. That's what, that was this, that, that, that trail mix was for Min Miss. <sighs> all right, we're a couple minutes out from the Perry apps where we will aim retrograde and attempt to get us into oh my god that that looks awesome by the way just the sp <gasps> Take, get the picture get that picture down <laughs> anyone else seeing the wobbling that's not normal that can't be normal there's no way that's normal all right so we're firing the engines retrograde in an attempt to get us in orbit around the tiniest planet, tiniest moon in the Kerbin system. It'll take a minute. Whoa, 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 okay, now we're hitting it. Now we actually have to fire prograde. Uh, we cannot ram into it. Top priority here is not to ram into the planet. The moon. It's a moon. It's a moon. Our top priority is to land. All right, easy does it. There we go. Periaps of just over 500,000. 
All right, so it'll take us another three days to actually get to that periaps. Because, wow, we're going slow. Like, ridiculously slow. Like, it's crazy. All right, easy, easy, bring us in. All right, no, no, retrograde, retrograde at this point, thank you. Maybe we'll try to land in one of them frozen lakes, or at the very least on one of the rims. We'd be very close to the original Minmus shot landing zone if we landed around here. Just on the rim of a frozen lake. All right. Fire up those engines. Rev up those fryers. Because we are getting ready to head on down there. Boom. Okay, good. Now the horrible, now the horrible part. We still have our third stage and it still has over half its fuel. Eesh. I really don't want to ditch you, but goodbye. Which one is the forward propulsion? It, uh, H, it's H, it's H. It's H, I found it. H, I. Hit it, hit it with the H and the I. That way we have a bit of horizontal and vertical. No matter which direction we fire off the engines, you'll be fine. All right, now I'm gonna take this one step further. I'm gonna drain everything we have currently in the Too Smart into the main monopropellant tank. Which may or may not be a good idea. I'm thinking. Yeah, we'll risk it. It's just that tank is one of the ver one of the only things on the rover that's actually giving it any amount of weight. That and the new tires, which are vi might actually be heavy. I'm not sure. All right, I'm gonna like streamline the process here. Uh, gonna transfer Joff Key and his uh, assistant scientist Arhat over to the lander. We're not gonna bother uh, coupling them together this time. I am, however, gonna make sure that everything is deployed on the command module. John, jo Jobo is going to stay aboard the command module, uh, keep everything in check, keep, keep, uh, keep them updated, um, with, with the, with the, the sports and whatnot. Uh, turn the lights on in this thing. Yeah, there you go. And decouple. We're away. Hey, 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 hey. All right. Give her some, give her some, uh, give her a love to just, uh, figure out what we're doing here. All right, some RCS. RCS thrusters engage. That's enabling them on the rover, and I don't know why. Whatever. Uh, let's give it some, all right, it also, I also disabled every single RCS tank over here. Okay. Let's turn them all back on. I remember now, I didn't want them coming out of the fuel tanks on the lander. It's really annoying. It's also rude. All right. Now burn those engines. No? What gives? They're enabled. Oh, okay, here we go. They were enabled before, they just didn't have fuel. 
All right, now go. Give it some distance away from the command module before we start maneuvering. Extend the legs. Show the full size of our Landor craft. <laughs> It's big. It's bigger than the command module, really. All right. Our landing site is gonna be around uh, where Min, Min where uh, Minmus Shot One landed. So let's see. Land. Pick target on map. Land at that target. Should have plenty of time to adjust for everything. All right, the batteries are gonna go kaput here in, uh, actually, they're doing pretty okay. Yeah, I think there's a, uh, yeah, there's the uh, radioisotope thermoelectric generator on the bottom of the rover that's still feeding into, uh, the feeding into the rest of the ship. You know, you can turn the lights on in there just so it's not too bad. All right, so Jeff Key at the controls. Whoa. <sighs> Jeff Key at the controls of the Snowball Lander. Oh, right. Uh Activate the engine. We are gonna burn so much monopropellant. Oh my god. Alright, here we go. There we are. So I think it just adjusted for, uh... Here. Uh, land at target now. It should be good to go. Yeah, the, uh, the too smart, the, the tires, I think they actually weigh, uh, something this time. Which, that's, that's no good. Half of the appeal of the too smart rover was that it was so idiot proof. It could be slapped on the side of a rocket. Because it weighed pretty much nothing. So that's where we're landing, huh? Pretty much, pretty much literally a stone's throw away from, uh, the original landing site. The first Minmus landing site. Okay, Joff Key at the controls of the Snowball Lander. We're going to see if he can land yet another one. All right, I don't know what this game is doing, because, like, it's trying to warp. Okay, there it goes. Now it's warping. Finally. <laughs> Check our speed. Now that's easily manageable. I mean, right now we're heading in at uh, death speed, but we should be coming down on top of a frozen lake, which is basically at... Um, if you've ever landed on Minmus, you know that the lakes are at... Uh, the, they are the sea level of Minmus, so the uh, meters above the surface will be quite literally zero. It will actually be nothing, because they are the frozen lakes of Minmus. And everyone knows that Minmus is made of ice cream. What, what flavor do you think that color is? 
I'm gonna go. I'm gonna say vanilla because that's the best flavor of ice cream. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. Could be like mint or something. Are we gonna hit the right targets? No, it looks like we gotta come down on top of the land, which is not what I wanted. What are you doing? RCS thrusters here, what are you doing? Yo, this is Flavor Flav, who's this? <laughs> You sure we're gonna hit the land? It looks like we're gonna like come down like right on top of the lake. Right on the line here, very carefully. Good news is we'll have some nice flat land to test out the new rover wheels. Okay, you might wanna burn now! Like really burn! Hello? Actually, I think it's got this. I think it. I think it's got this. It's just trying to kill our horizontal momentum, and then we'll uh, start making our way down. I've set our touchdown speed for half a meter a second, which is. Absolute perfection if we can pull it off. Uh, I don't think we're moving. <laughs> like, just, just, just putting it out there. Don't think we're moving like at all now. I, th I think we are in fact standing still. I'm just, yeah, I'm just quick saving because I don't trust it. Maybe the thing got confused. Because it brought us all the way down to 0 0.5, but it did not need to. A safe touchdown speed would be 12 or lower. Right now we're at 18. 19. Okay, anytime you want to fire up that engine, there you go. There you go. Nice and easy over the surface of Minmus. Nice and easy. There you go. Nice and easy over the surface of Minmus. Look at it bouncing up and down. <laughs> nice and simple, I said. <laughs> Uh, retract these wheels, because I get the feeling that this thing's going to flip over the moment I try to deploy this thing. Jovki, you're up. We're going to try and deploy the rover. He's got that blue suit, just so I could identify him amongst the... Oh, but the jets look different with this suit. You don't set foot on the surface yet! <laughs> Okay. You want to drive it European style? Like from that side? Alright, decouple. Okay, good. It pushed it over uh, to the side ever so slightly. And also, I forgot to fuel it. God damn it! Okay, going back. <laughs> The Min Miss Landing, part two. Okay. I have to do it myself this time. Oh boy. Here we go. Here we go. Stability. Needs stability. Easy now. I'll bring it in on like, at like five meters a second. Something like that. Easy now. Uh, maybe... K 
tail our movement off in that direction just a bit. Okay, good, 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 good. Easy now. Prepare to shut it down. Shut it down. Yeah, boingy, boingy, boing. <laughs> All right. If necessary, I will have the thrusters just slam us down to the gr In fact, go ahead and do that. Try and stomp us down. Stomp it down. Stomp it. Stomp. Stomp, stomp, stomp. All right. We're stationary, finally. Shut down the RCS. And the SAS. Cool, we landed. Again. All right. This time, let's not make uh, the same mistake we did last time. Uh, wait, 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 wait for it. And stop. Uh, all right, this one and this one in. I'm trying to keep it balanced on like either side as best I can. There we go. Now it ha now the rover has fuel. All right, Jovki, now you're up. Retract those wheels just so. We could get it down. Jeff K, get out there. Easy. Boost your way over. And you went up too high. Drive it European style. All right. And now, decouple. RCS. Easy. Easy. Did I, did I turn the tank on? No, I didn't. Hold on. I didn't turn the thrusters off. <laughs> All right. This is like so much of the reason as to why we even have these thrusters. Easy. Easy. Bouncy. <laughs> Alright, that's good, 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 good. Extend the wheels. Easy. Extend the other wheels. And she's on the surface. Okay. Jeez, that's got some suspension going, doesn't it? Disable the RCS. Whoa. Four wheel drive. This is like the ultra. This is like the ultra too smart rover this one's designed to be a little bit heavier for the low gravity environments like just to just to help it out there's some space debris up in orbit easy slow her down space cowboy what's that up in orbit it might be the ship no it's the it's the booster all right you can go ahead and uh Leave your seat now. And that's the first step on Minmus in forever. I do believe this is the Sea of Jeb. And or that that's what we named it. I'd have to check the flag at uh Oh no, I know it's Subscription Valley. Alright, so this would be Subscription Lake. We are near, like, when we landed here, we, we were nearing a thousand, we hit a thousand, actually. We hit a thousand subscribers when we landed here. It's fitting, because we're nearing 10,000. Uh, yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's crooked, but whatever. That'll do it for uh, this week's episode of Kerbal Space Program, ladies and gentlemen. It's back again. We just had to finish up Lego Rock Raiders. Um, now I gotta go get uh, our hat out of the uh, out of the uh, 
Lander. Thanks for watching, guys! And I will see you in the next video. We're back to exploring space. Well, aren't you happy? Look at you go! Everybody wants to be an astronaut and take the long tall trail into the stars. Everybody wants to show a brother what.